Welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. Is the most dangerous malware back? I'm going to discuss it in this story. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You know we're going dark. Inferno malware masqueraded as Coinbase drained $87 million from 137,000 victims. The operators behind the now defunct Inferno Drainer created more than 16,000 unique malicious domains over a span of one year between 2022 and 2023. The scheme leveraged high quality phishing pages to lure un unsuspecting users into connecting their cryptocurrency wallets with the attacker's infrastructure that spoofed Web3 protocols to trick victims into authorizing transactions. Singapore headquartered group IB said in a report shared with the Hacker News. Inferno Drainer, which was active from November 2022 to November 2023, is estimated to have reaped over $87 million in illicit profits by scamming more than 137,000 victims. The malware is part of a broader set of similar offerings that are out available to affiliates under the scam as a service or drainer as a service model in exchange for 20% cut of their earnings. What's more, customers of Inferno Drainer could either upload the malware to their own phishing sites or make use of the developer's service for creating and hosting phishing websites either at no extra cost or charging 30% of the stolen assets in some cases. The DAAS tool gained popularity in the aftermath of the shutdown of Monkey Drainer in March 2023, which also paved for the emergence of another short-lived drainer service called Venom Drainer. Data compiled by Scam Sniffer shows that crypto phishing scams proliferating the drainer kits have cumulatively stolen 295.4 million in assets from about 320,000 users in 2023. According to Group IB, the activity spoofed upwards of 100 cryptocurrency brands via uh, specially crafted pages that were hosted on over 16,000 unique domains. Further analysis of 500 of these domains has revealed that the JavaScript-based drainer was hosted initially on a GitHub repository before incorporating them directly on the websites. You know, the user CuzDaz currently does not exist. In a similar fashion, another set of 350 sites included a JavaScript file, and uh, you can put that file on the screen, Peter, on a different GitHub repository, and that's another uh, file that Peter can put on the screen. These sites were then propagated on sites like Discord and X, formerly Twitter, enticing potential victims into clicking them under the guise of offering free tokens, aka airdrops, and connecting their wallets at which point their assets were drained once the transactions were approved. In using the names seaport.js, coinbase.js, and walletconnect.js, the idea was to masquerade as popular Web3 protocols like Seaport, Wallet Connect, and Coinbase to complete the unauthorized transactions. The earliest website containing one of these scripts dates back to May 15, 2023. Another typical feature of phishing websites belonging to Inferno Drainer was that users cannot open web source code by using hotkeys or right-clicking on the mouse. Group ID an uh, analysis, uh, Shevchenko said, this means that the criminals attempted to hide their scripts and illegal activity from their victims. It's worth... Uh, noting that the Google loan Mandiant's X account was compromised earlier this month to distribute links to a phishing page hosted, uh, hosting a cryptocurrency drainer tracked as uh, Clink Sync, which is a variety of, you know, which known as Rainbow Drainer, has uh, pilfered nearly 4.17 million in assets from 3,947 uh, Solana users over the past month. Uh, on top of that, Group ID said the success of Inferno Drainer could fuel the development of new drainers as well as lead to a surge in websites containing malicious scripts spoofing Web3 protocols. Nothing 2024 could become the year of the drainer. So let me know what you think about this story and its malware. Please, please, please hit the subscribe button. Please, please, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I appreciate your viewership and see you on the next video.